Barry Newhart here with Dan Dillon, Dillon Chemical. Uh, we're here to talk about a product uh, for carpets called Carpet Rinse and Neutralizer. Uh, we're going to ask Dan a few questions and uh, we'll see how, how he answers our questions for us and we'll see where this product might, might help us all out. So Dan, tell me, where would uh, you use uh, the Rinse and Neutralizer? Carpet Rinse and Neutralizer is a, a final step in carpet cleaning maintenance. So when you have already extracted a carpet or shampooed a carpet, you would use rinse and neutralizer as the follow-up. That's what it's standardly used for. It's also used to solve problems in carpet cleaning, such as browning or overwetting of carpets, and also to help uh, stains from wicking back or reappearing. You mentioned browning. What, what is browning and what does it come from? Browning is when you overwet a carpet. If you use too much detergent or too high of alkaline cleaners and you leave the carpet too wet, carpets can typically brown. And just like I said, it's like getting a suntan on a carpet. It's called browning or tanning. Some people refer to it as tanning as well. I see. So you would use this as a final rinse uh, at the end of a cleaning project? That's correct. And would it work in a machine? Do you do it by hand? How do you do that? You could do either way. Uh, first, I'll speak to you about a contractor using carpet rinse and neutralizer. Then I'll speak to you about a homeowner using carpet rinse and neutralizer. A commercial contractor or a professional carpet cleaner will use carpet rinse and neutralizer through their extraction equipment. And after they've already completed their cleaning cycle with their alkaline detergents and their spotters and their, you know, their soaps and their you know, citrus gels and things like that, they would then follow through with the carpet rinse and neutralizer through their machine again as a second pass and a second step for carpet cleaning. Again, neutralizing it, making sure it doesn't brown, and also balancing the pH of the carpet. That's the single biggest um, um, step that a lot of carpet cleaners won't take because it's an extra step, but yet it's the best step to take. The second part of that as a homeowner, homeowners can also use carpet rinse and neutralizer. They too have had companies come clean their carpets and then the carpets get dirtier faster because they left too much soap or film behind. Uh, or they left, uh, they use high alkaline cleaners. So they want to balance the pH of their carpet. Or maybe they have a pet stain, something like that, that they need to de-brown or, or de-tan and that's when they would use the carpet rinse and neutralizer. Now they would apply it with either a squirt bottle, like a regular standard spray bottle, or they could put in a two gallon type garden type pump sprayer and they can spray it on the carpet, rub it in, rake it in, is what they call it in the cleaning industry, in the carpet cleaning business, and then that alone in itself will neutralize the carpet. I see. So, um, seems like you've answered my questions for me today, Dan. Uh, I don't know if he's answered all of your questions, but should you have any other questions, I'm sure Dan would be happy to talk to you or any one of his trained staff. So if you have any more questions, give us a call. They'll be happy to talk to you, and happy cleaning.